Daniel 10, 1 through 11, 1. Devotional Focus Verse Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. Daniel 10, 12. Today's text contains an amazing account of Daniel's experience when he set himself to seek God and gives insight on what transpired because he prayed. It was a dramatic and precious occasion, and what Daniel saw, heard, and felt had a great impact on him. When we pray, God may not answer exactly the way that he did for Daniel. The fact is, over his long years of service to God, Daniel prayed often, three times a day, and we can be certain that many of those prayer meetings were not particularly eventful. Whether or not a time of prayer seems outstanding to us, it is important to note that from the first day, Daniel's words were heard, and our prayers are heard as well. My own heritage includes two women who were faithful in prayer. When my great-grandmother was seeking her baptism, she consecrated everything that came to her mind, yet still did not receive that experience. In desperation, she told the Lord she would even go to China if that was what he wanted. As plainly as if he were sitting by her side, God let her know that her mission field was her family. Then he filled her with his Holy Spirit. My great-grandmother faithfully devoted herself to this calling and prayed earnestly for her family all the days of her life. Although she never went to China, others in her family traveled to various places around the world to share the gospel, and her prayers were with them. The results of her prayers are still evident today, a number of decades later. Many of her descendants have been and are pastors, ministers, musicians, and Sunday school teachers who are offering their talents in God's service. In the next generation, my grandmother was also a fervent Christian. As a young mother, she suffered much sickness, including tuberculosis and then a staph infection that ultimately took her life. Many prayers went up for her healing. Although God heard each of those prayers, He chose to answer in His own way. My grandmother's last days were spent in a hospital, but even in the midst of sickness and pain, she made the effort to shine the light of Jesus to those around her. Because of her testimony, three people in that hospital were saved, and many people were impacted by her Christian witness. In addition, she left behind a legacy of faith and hope to her four children and their descendants. Whatever our situation and needs today, we can be certain that God hears our prayers from the first day. Whether or not He answers in the way we desire, we can trust Him and know His ways are best. Only eternity will tell all the far-reaching results of faithful prayers. Background Information This narrative, which explains further details of God's plan regarding the 70 weeks, took place within a short time after the previous chapter. The first year of Darius, we read about in Daniel 9.1, and the third year of Cyrus in Daniel 10.1 were within the same time frame. Some have suggested that Daniel's sense of deep mourning may have been prompted by a specific event, such as the letter written by Bishlam. Mithridath and Tabeel and Ezra 4, who accused the Jews to the king. That the time appointed was long, in verse 1, indicates not only a passage of time, but implies great conflict and considerable difficulty for God's people. Daniel's location at the time of this vision was near the Tigris, Hittichel, River, where verses 5 through 9 detail his introductory encounter with a certain man. This man had a distinct and unusual appearance, but he was not an apparition or a figment of Daniel's imagination. He was real, and Daniel understood the words he spoke. Since Daniel's companions fled, he was the only one who heard what was said. Beginning at verse 10, the man prepared Daniel to hear his message from God. Verse 12 makes it clear that he was sent immediately in response to Daniel's prayer. However, The answer was hindered by the prince of the kingdom of Persia, a supernatural force under the authority of Satan. In contrast, Michael, one of the chief princes, was an angelic being. He is mentioned again in verse 21 as Michael your prince, 
and also in chapter 12, verse 1 as, The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. These descriptions indicated that one of his special responsibilities is the welfare of the Jewish people. Verse 14 disclosed that there was further revelation to follow concerning the last days. The information in verse 20 revealed that the reign of the Persian Empire was not yet over, but when it was complete, a Grecian Empire would follow. This was fulfilled when Alexander the Great conquered the Persians in 330 BC. Conclusion Are you bringing a petition before God? Be assured that your prayers are heard and noted. In His own time and way, God will answer. Daniel Chapter 10 In the third year of Cyrus king of Persia a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was called Belteshazzar, and the thing was true, but the time appointed was long, and he understood the thing, and had understanding of the vision. In those days I Daniel was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth, neither did I anoint myself at all, till three whole weeks were fulfilled. And in the four and twentieth day of the first month, as I was by the side of the great river, which is Hittichel. Then I lifted up mine eyes, and looked, and behold a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Uphus. His body also was like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass, and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. And I Daniel alone saw the vision, for the men that were with me saw not the vision, but a great quaking fell upon them, so that they fled to hide themselves. Therefore I was left alone, and saw this great vision, and there remained no strength in me, for my comeliness was turned in me into corruption, and I retained no strength. Yet heard I the voice of his words, and when I heard the voice of his words, then was I in a deep sleep on my face, and my face toward the ground. And, behold, an hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand, and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days, but, lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days, for yet the vision is for many days. And when he had spoken such words unto me, I set my face toward the ground, and I became dumb. And, behold, one like the similitude of the sons of men touched my lips, then I opened my mouth, and spake, and said unto him that stood before me, O my Lord, by the vision my sorrows are turned upon me, and I have retained no strength. For how can the servant of this my Lord talk with this my Lord? For as for me, straightway there remained no strength in me, neither is there breath left in me. Then there came again and touched me one like the appearance of a man, and he strengthened me. And said, O man greatly beloved, fear not, peace be unto thee, be strong, yea, be strong. And when he had spoken unto me, I was strengthened, and said, Let my Lord speak, for thou hast strengthened me. Then said he, Knowest thou wherefore I come unto thee? And now will I return to fight with the prince of Persia, and when I am gone forth, Lo, the prince of Gracia shall come. But I will show thee that which is noted in the scripture of truth, and there is none that holdeth with me in these things, but Michael your prince. Daniel. Chapter 11. Also I in the first year of Darius the Mede, even I, stood to confirm and to strengthen him.